So you've decided to take up the Irish button accordion and you're wondering what instrument, what kind of instrument you should be looking for if you haven't already got one. So this is the first of two clips. In this first one, I'm going to talk about what uh, layout of box you should get, how many rows, how many bases, and that kind of thing. And in a second video, I will demonstrate the different choices you have regarding um, voices and sounds. All right, so let's get going. When you first inquire into the subject of taking up the Irish button accordion, uh, if you live in Ireland, probably people will say, well, you get a button accordion, and that's a BC. Easy. All right, fine. But if you're elsewhere in the world, or if you're a little more curious, you might say, well, what other systems are there? And then you find that there is a plethora of systems of diatonic accordions and you can easily start to get confused. You say, well, do I need a two row or maybe I need a three row? Well, uh, is a C sharp D and B C, are these semitone boxes better than the kind that are played in England and most parts of the world where the rows are not a semitone apart but a fourth apart? Is it better? Why? Uh, what are the differences you can get with these? And uh, do I need, if I decide on an Irish system, C sharp D or B C, do I really need three rows? Should I get two and a half rows? Should I get a B C C sharp? Should I get a C sharp D G? Uh, what should I do? And how many bases do I need? And will I be able to play all the kinds of music that I want to play on this machine? Now, I've been there and I've been through all that. And uh, yes, there are many possibilities. We all know, you soon find out when you start asking, that the diatonic accordion has limitations, even if the B, C and C sharp C systems are theoretically chromatic in the sense that all the notes are there, they still have limitations. And people wonder how to get around these limitations and they come up with all kinds of permutations such as the ones I've just mentioned. However, my advice to you as a beginner is to go simple, learn to play on a relatively simple instrument. If you want to complicate things for yourself later on and want to make things more expensive for yourself later on, you can do that but go for a basic two-row, eight-bass box. And uh, here is uh, a very good starter model. This is the Salterelle Irish Bueb model. This is good for BC or C sharp D. Um, there are many other Italian makes that are just as good. Salterelle is actually a French maker, but the boxes are made for it by different Italian makers. You have uh, Castagnari, you have Beltuna, Beltrami, Giustozzi, any number of uh, good accordion makers. And then there's the handmade makers like uh, Bertrand Gaillard and Franz van der Aar and all these people. There's no limit. But why not start with something that's easily available like uh, Castagnari, Din 2 or Din 3 or a Salterell Irish Boy. Now, uh, the interesting thing for me about this accordion in particular is that it has 23 buttons on the... Uh, treble side. And if you're playing C sharp D style, that is important because a lot of fiddle tunes that you'll be playing maybe later on go down as far as the note, the low note of G, which is down here on this box. Now, the continental style uh, accordions and most of the accordions that are made by Italian makers uh, only need 21 buttons for their purposes. And so the great majority of models that you will find will have 21 buttons. That's 10, uh, 11 here and 10 there uh, for an 8 bass box, 2 row 8 bass box. And if you're playing C sharp D, I think it is a considerable advantage to get a 23 button box with a low D, G here. Now, on B, C, that's less important because B, C being a tone uh, lower, uh, it turns out that you get the low G here. You might be you're missing one note or two at the top, but nothing to do about that really. So uh, for a BC player, 21 bo button box is, is fine. Um, but for C sharp D, either get yourself a uh, 23 button box, or if you are able, if you get a 21 button box that suits you, try to have this, which is a slightly redundant uh, note pair on the outer row, get that changed to D and G, and Bob's your uncle. And you'll find you'll be very well set up with that. If you can't get that done, it doesn't really matter, low G, you'll get round to it at some point. Um, so there we are, that's my recommendation. And uh, another option, 
is uh, these old Hona accordions, which I like very much. Now this one, uh, normally these are 21 buttons. Unfortunately this one has been souped up for me, so it doesn't, uh, it's not in original condition. It's got an extra bass button here and an extra melody button here, so I've got my DG down on, on here. But these accordions, if you can find an older one, uh, especially, and get it well set up by someone who knows what they're doing, they're really fantastic little accordions. Um, extremely responsive, light, um, very easy to play. They do have the disadvantage that they tend to make uh, a lot of noise on the uh, treble side, but that can be attenuated by someone who knows what they're doing. And they have another disadvantage that if, unless they're fixed, the uh, buttons tend to disappear down the holes, which makes them uncomfortable to play. But again, that can be fixed by somebody who knows what they're doing. So a good uh, model Erica or Double Ray in BC or C sharp D, which is usually the result of a conversion, set up by a good uh, box uh, technician, will do you very well indeed. Now, um, on the bass side, if you're playing BC, you will have a number of choices of what to do with your eight bass system. The <clears throat> classic Paolo Soprani, uh, in the old days, BC boxes were set up so that uh, the basses, you had one set of basses for the uh, C row and one set of basses for the B row, which was useless for our purposes. Uh, they eventually cottoned on, and then you get the um, more modern Paolo Soprani layout. Um, but uh, that had a disability, uh, disability had a disadvantage of not having a D chord on the push, um, and you need D chord in both directions on BC. So then Billy McComiskey got somebody to swap one of his boxes round, got an extra D put on the push on this button pair, and that became as the McComiskey layout. Well, no, it's just a small modification, I think. You know, Billy McComiskey finds it a bit comic that everyone calls it the McComiskey layout. Then other people, Joe Burke and John Nolan, have addressed the problem of the, uh, the two-directional D chord. So if you get a McComiskey, uh, a John Nolan, or a Joe Burke layout on the BC, you'll be fine. On the C-sharp D, uh, the basic system comes to us from AD boxes, actually. And... The traditional uh, C-sharp D bass system is very well set up for playing in any key with two sharps. It's not good for playing uh, tunes in G because you don't have a C major chord, which is very important. And people sometimes ask, well, should I sacrifice the F-sharp and B buttons here and get a C put on that? You could do that, but I would advise against it because I find this F-sharp and B minor chords extremely useful for playing in D and in E minor. And I'd rather go without the ability to accompany in G and to have a really good selection of chords for D, E and A to some extent. Uh, the other thing is that you should try and get a box which has a stop on the top to take out the thirds in the chord. I'll explain that a bit later in the, in the second video because that means that you have a so-called neutral chord or a power chord like this. These have been taped. I don't have a stop because it's an older model. And that's a D chord there. And it will go well with D major on the right hand. It'll also go well with D minor. So it gives you a lot more flexibility. So try at least to get a stop to take out the thirds in the chords. And if you can't do that, get a technician to take them up for you, which is pretty easy on most Italian boxes. So there's my advice to you. Get yourself a basic two row, eight bass, B, C or C sharp D. Try to get the bass uh, set up in a useful manner. If you have a 21 button C sharp D, try to get D and G put on this button, but otherwise you'll be fine. Um, I'll say something about one rows in the uh, next video. All right, well I hope this is useful.